Hi, and thanks for joining us on this guided tour of the RD33 Remote Display and Digital Data Organizer. This little unit features a 4.3 inch color LCD display that is sunlight viewable and can be seen under almost any lighting conditions. It also features an NMEA 0183 and an NMEA 2000 interface, which allows you to connect it to virtually any piece of equipment that you already have installed on your vessel. And depending on what it's connected to, it has a variety of display modes, including navigation data, highway mode, heading, speed, and depth, rudder and wind angle, air temperature and humidity, and engine information. For those of you who currently own an RD30 or have used an RD30 in the past, you'll be glad to know that the RD33 has a very short learning curve because the menuing system and a lot of the screen options are exactly the same as they were in the RD30, which allows you to get up and running as quickly as possible. So let's get started with this guided tour of the RD33. I'm gonna turn this over to Eric Coons, our senior product manager, and he'll get you started. Let's join Eric on the water. Hi, Eric Coons here with Verna USA. I'm the product manager and I'm gonna run you through the new RD33. The RD33 is a remote display. It's capable of accepting either NMEA 2000 or NMEA 0183 sensors. The RD33 has up to seven individually programmable displays. In this case, we're looking at large depth information, which is just a single display, or I can change it to, for example, a large temperature information with up to one hundredth of a degree accuracy. Speed over ground, a compass ribbon page, or I can break up the pages individually. And you can see here how I have depth information, water temperature, course over ground, and even bearing information coming from a GPS. This page allows you to show apparent wind angle, or speed over ground, and course over ground. And the seventh page is depth information, course over ground, water temperature, and bearing again. The point is that each one of these pages is individually configurable, and you can change them on the fly. It's very easy to do. And the RD33 is basically unlimited in how you can, can configure each page. I'm going to run you through the buttons on the RD33 to show you how it's used and its basic functionality. The display button above my finger is used to change each individual display. In this case, I have depth, course over ground, water temperature, and bearing information. But if I want to, I can easily change each one of those data boxes on the fly. I can use the arrow keypad and the enter key to do that. If I press the enter key, you'll see I can now control each data box. If I want to change from bearing information to another piece of data, I can go in here to my menu system and say I want to change from navigation information to heading. Here I can go down and just select basic heading information. Then when I go back out of the menu, or hit the display key. Now I'll show heading information instead of bearing information. It's very easy to configure in that respect and I can do it on the fly. The RD33 allows me to configure each data page individually. In this case we're looking at a full screen depth information. If I want to change that page to a split screen for example with depth and speed over ground I can easily do that. So to do that I would just press the menu key go to my display setting page, press enter, and then go to custom layout, select and go side by side or over under for depth and something else. I'm going to select side by side, press enter here, select depth, digital depth, and then go down to B, which is my right display. In this case, I'm going to go here, go to speed, and then say speed over ground is my selection. Enter, digital information. Now you can see that I've split the screen. I'm going to show depth information on the left hand side and speed over ground on the right. If I simply press my display key after I'm done configuring the page, that page will automatically appear. 
Each one of the seven pages is individually configurable in the same way that I just performed this step. For customers who are using the RD33 for wind information, it's very easy to change the wind information from apparent wind to true wind with a single touch of a button. Also, you can easily start a sail timer with the start and clear button as well. The RD33 display has the capability to bring in both NMEA 2000 or NMEA 0183 information from existing sensors on your vessel. It also has the unique capability to convert that data back and forth. For example, if you have an existing older NMEA 0183 GPS, you can use the RD33 to convert that GPS information into the newer NMEA 2000 information to feed other sensors on the vessel. Furthermore, if you have existing NMEA 2000 sensors on your vessel, but want to use the RD33 to convert that data back to NMEA 0183 information, that's also possible. In summary, the RD33 is an excellent data display that has both NMEA 2000 and 0183 capabilities for your vessel. Thanks for joining us on this guided tour of the RD33.